Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Storytime with Father Colin. Today I decided we'll uh, reach back into our wonderful uh, collection of the Children's Book of Virtues, edited by William J. Bennett, and we'll read a short story from here. And the story is entitled The Legend of the Dipper. It's retold by J. Berg Eisenwein and Marietta Stockard. And the synopsis, or the, the kind of the central message of this, uh, of this story is going to be, a kind act is often its own reward. So, without further ado, here is the legend of the Dipper. There had been no rain in the land for a very long time. It was so hot and dry that the flowers were withered, the grass was parched and brown, and even the big, strong trees were dying. The water dried up in the creeks and rivers. The wells were dry. The fountains stopped bubbling. The cows, the dogs, the horses, the birds, and the people were so thirsty. Everyone felt uncomfortable and sick. There was one little girl whose mother was grew very ill. Oh, said the little girl. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, said the little girl, if only I could find some water for my mother, I'm sure she will be well again. I must find some water. So she took a tin cup and started out in search of water. By and by, she found a tiny little spring away up on a mountainside. It was almost dry. The water dropped, dropped, ever so slowly from under the rock. The little girl held her cup carefully and caught the drops. She waited and waited a long, long time until the cup was full of water. Then she started down the mountain, holding the cup very carefully, for she didn't want to spill even a single drop. So here's the little girl collecting the water very, very slowly over a long, long time. And look, you can kind of see, right? The grass is all parched and brown and the trees don't have any leaves on them. It's really, really, really dry. On the way, she passed a poor little dog he could hardly drag himself along. He was panting for breath, and his tongue hung from his mouth because it was so dry and parched. Oh, you poor little dog, said the little girl. You are so thirsty. I can't pass you without giving you a few drops of water. If I give you just a little, there will still be enough for my mother. So the little girl poured some water into her hand and held it down for the little dog. He lapped it up so quickly and then he felt so much better that he frisked and barked and seemed almost to say, Thank you, little girl. And the little girl didn't notice, but her tin dipper had changed into a silver dipper and was just as full of water as it had been before. So here's the little girl. She meets the dog. And you can't really, you kind of almost can't tell, but look at, real carefully, look at the, look at the color of the dipper. So that's when she went to collect the water. And look at, look at it now after she gives it to the dog. It's a little bit lighter, right? A little bit more shiny. It's because it's silver and not tin anymore. She thought about her mother and hurried along as fast as she could go. When she reached home, it was late in the afternoon, almost dark. The little girl pushed the door open and hurried up to her mother's room. When she came into the room, the old servant who helped the little girl and her mother and had been working hard all day taking care of the sick woman came to the door. She was so tired and so thirsty that she couldn't even speak to the little girl. Do give her some water, said the mother. She has worked hard all day and she needs it much more than I do. So the little girl held the cup to her lips and the old servant drank some of the water. She felt stronger and better right away and she went over to the mother and lifted her up. The little girl didn't notice that the cup had changed into a gold cup and was just as full of water as it was before. So here, see, it's the silver cup here. And now it's a gold cup and still full of water. Then she held the cup to her mother's lips and she drank and drank. Oh, she felt so much better. When she had finished, there was still some water left in the cup. The little girl was just raising it to her own lips when there came a knock at the door. The servant opened it and there stood a stranger. He was very pale and all covered with dust from traveling. I am thirsty, he said. Won't you give me a little water? The little girl said, why certainly I will. I am sure that you need it far more than I do. Drink it all. 
The stranger smiled and took the dipper in his hand. And as he took it, it changed into a diamond dipper. He turned it upside down, and all the water spilled out and sank to the ground. And where it spilled, a fountain bubbled up. The cool water flowed and splashed, enough for the people and all the animals in the whole land to have all the water they wanted to drink. See, here's the stranger. Here's the stranger. Look at the dipper in his hand. It's all shiny, right? It's sparkly? It's because it's diamond. And look at the water. The little girl's so amazed. As they watched the water, they forgot the stranger. But presently, when they looked, he was gone. They thought they could see him just vanishing in the sky. And there in the sky, clear and high, shone the diamond dipper. It shines up there yet and reminds people of the little girl who was kind and unselfish. It is called the Big Dipper. You can actually see the Big Dipper in the sky. Ask your parents to show you sometime at night when it's clear to show you the Big Dipper. And as we said right at the beginning of the story, it's a story about kindness being its own reward. This girl was so unselfish and she was kind. She was willing to give her water even though she, she knew her mother needed it and that she herself wanted to drink it because she was thirsty. But because she was willing to give it away, she was rewarded. And so often our kindness, our kind acts to one another, our brothers and sisters, our parents, those things, those kinds of acts, uh, they don't go unrewarded. They don't go unnoticed. The Lord blesses us uh, for that kindness. God is generous with us, especially when we are generous with other people. And so, be, you know, remember, a kind act is often its own reward. Thank you again for joining me today for uh, story time with Father Colin as we read from the Children's Book of Virtues, edited by William J. Bennett, uh, the story of the story, the legend of the Dipper, as retold by J. Berg Eisenwein and Marietta Stockard. Thank you, and God bless you all. <laughs>